I'm shocked that people are shocked because um, this was, I'm not going to say like an everyday occurrence for me growing up, but it was, it, things like that happened like extremely regularly. Now, I would imagine, I would want to hope that things have improved in all the years that have passed since I left um, because there are more, there are more non-white people here now. Yeah. So I want to hope that means people are, more used to it, but sometimes when that happens, levels of racism actually actually rise. So this is happening. I didn't actually watch that video until now because I didn't need to because I've yeah. lived that like so many really? times. But sometimes I think when we attack the individual who is espousing this poison, that's kind of missing the point because there is such a generally kind of like xenophobic um, attitude often in the media, and also there's such a level of ignorance as people are not really educated as to why people are moving into a space. So they don't really... I think it's something more syst systemic. Okay, and we I need to kind of deal with the root causes as yeah. to why so many yeah. people feel yeah. like that Fair than enough. just focusing on okay. the woman who feels like that. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. And sense. look, I think that's under investigation yeah. by the police. We're mm. not going to pass any judgment on that. We, do, we don't know what the story is. You said there it was so that this happened a long time ago. When you, was this when you were a child? When I was a child, like from... From, I moved, so I was born here and then I moved to the States and I moved back here when I was five. And from five years old, things like that were regular enough, yeah. Um, and I, I remember once I was like about 15 and I was in town with my boyfriend at the time. We were, I don't know, in the city centre somewhere. And we were just walking and we just heard the N-word. And uh, I was just non unfazed because... I mean, I got that a lot. And he, it, it was his reaction that I really remember. He was just like, Jesus, Emma, like, this is, this is so awful. Like, are you all right? And I was just like, this is standard. This happens a lot. Okay. So I'm not surprised by this. And does, how does it make you feel as a kid if you get that all the time? Does it damage you? Gosh. Oh, my God. Um, it's, it, because I've had it, my whole life almost, I don't know how it would feel to not have experienced it.